I'm going to take you through the process of creating, setting a default time zone for your Angular application. So you'll come to note that in some applications, you want to force a user to use your time zone or the server time zone. Because by default, what happens is when the user select the time, date and time in their date time picker, it's going to select the time zone that they're using in their computer. And at some point, uh, due to some validations or something, some other activity on the back end, you want to force them to use your default time zone. So we come to our Visual Studio code here. I've already installed the application. I've already created a new application here. It's called set default time zone. So uh, the, it's very simple to do it, to force it. We're just going to come here to the app component.ts and then we're going to import. Sorry, but before importing, we're going to open our terminal. And then we're going to install, we're going to install moment.js. And we may install moment time zone. This library will help us will help us set the time zone. And then here we're going to come and import it. Import on Amazon.com. We are going to import it from moment time zone. And then uh, here we're going to come and create our constructor here. And then you're going to put to initialize it here in, in the constructor. So given dot tz dot set default. Then you're going here. This is where you're going to put your default time zone. So for instance, for me, I'm in Nairobi, so I'm going to use the Nairobi Kenya time zone. So what I've done here is that, is that I will force everyone using my application. They set any time from the date picker, date picker, date and time picker, it's going to default it to plus three because in Nairobi Kenya, it's time zone is GMT plus three. So here you're going to put it according to the time zone that you that your time zone that you want to set as default. So that's all. Thank you.